fast action ended up saving a man's life. A teenager comes to the rescue of a 79-year-old man, and now he's being honored for his heroism. NBC4's Robert Kavasik has this amazing story. Robert? Chuck, you know, if you are an LAFD cadet, you are supposed to learn the responsibilities of being a firefighter, not get called into action. This is the story of someone who saw an accident, a bad accident, a horrific accident, and stopped. And there are witnesses and bystanders not knowing what to do, but surrounding a man who is about to die. However, not on this cadet's watch. He's only a teenager, but have no doubt Leo Kaufman's got what it takes to be a firefighter. I, you know what? I actually wasn't very nervous. Last year, at the age of 17, this LAFD cadet put himself on duty. He jumped out of his vehicle into a chaotic scene, saving the life of a 79-year-old man. Because Leo's so special. If he wasn't there, I wouldn't be there. Last summer, a car ran a red light in Hidden Hills and hit Dennis Platt's truck with such force, he and his dog were ejected. Dennis Platt on the asphalt without a pulse. And if no action was taken, Mr. Platt would surely die. We all know, we talk about it, every second counts. Performing CPR until LAFD rank and file arrived. It's because of Leo's fearlessness to jump into action, his wisdom, his strength and his selflessness that dad's body did not suffer from lack of oxygen like so many first responders this future one doesn't like to take credit i'm grateful that i was there at the right time and place and cpr certified thanks to the lafd cadet program but he is getting well-deserved praise from a grateful family leo you will forever be remembered as a hero great fireman and perhaps his next boss Cadet Kaufman, I could not be prouder of who you are. I could not be prouder of how you represented the LEFD. Congratulate you and all the fine work that you've done. And who could not be prouder of a young man who uses an event to honor him to say this. I want to use this time to encourage everyone to get CPR certified. I also want to say a word right now about Dennis Platt. After this accident, he was initially told he would end up a quadriplegic, unable to use his arms and his legs. He and his family crediting the staff at Northridge Hospital for his remarkable recovery. But it all starts with LAFD Cadet Kaufman, the reason he is alive today. We are live here at Fire Station 107, Carolyn, the scene where this cadet and other firefighters were honored today. I'm Robert Kavasek. Let's go back to you.